So take a few deep breaths and really notice your body, tune into your body. With inquiry practices, it's good to do sitting up, lying down, however you want. When we're doing the guided deep relaxations, it's good to not move your body, but for inquiry, it's fine to move around a bit. And make sure that you're gonna be warm enough if you need a blanket or anything like that. And before we start, notice your whole body. Notice your body from head to toes. And just hearing the words over the last couple of minutes might have brought some images to mind, some people to mind. There might be some energy in your body. We always respond to what's going on in our world. And then we respond with thoughts and energy sensations generally. And notice your breath. The breath is quite reliable in terms of getting grounded and centered. So keep an eye on your breath and your body during the inquiry. The body really tells us what's going on when we have a response in our body. And then bring to mind someone that you love. It could be a child, grandchild, parent friend, someone that you're in an intimate relationship with. And if several people come to mind, just kind of sift through until you find one that you're interested in working with for now. Could be someone that's in your life right now, or maybe someone from the past that's not with you right now. Just really tune in what comes up when you look at that person's face in your mind. What's the expression on their face? Imagine that you're just getting together or you're sitting together and they're smiling at you. When we see someone we love, we generally smile. We're happy to see them. There's this whole feeling that comes through our body. Let yourself focus on that for a moment. Notice your breath, notice your body. Notice what's happening in your body as you're visualizing this person that you love. The smile on the face, the look in their eyes as they look at you. And imagine that you're hugging them. You open your arms. You can feel the warmth, their scent, the texture, the sensation of hugging them. Let yourself really settle into that. Notice your breath. Notice you might be able to feel their body breathing as well. Take your time, just really absorb what it feels like to be with someone that you love or what it felt like in the past. And then let that come to a rest and bring to mind all the wonderful qualities of this person. Do you really respect and admire them? Or what do you love them for, love about them? If you were to say at their eulogy, what are the top five wonderful things about this person? What comes to mind? It could be kindness, creativity, humor, generosity. Take a moment and let that come. Little examples of them might come to mind. That time when
And notice your breath, notice your body. And now let some less than ideal qualities of theirs come to mind. Could be something that is scary for you or frustrating for you, or it could be something that you see they have an addiction that they're not really working with in a healthy way. They get short tempered or something like that. Notice when you bring to mind the full picture, there's all of these wonderful things and then there's these other things that aren't what you would describe as their best qualities. Notice what they are. Maintain awareness of your breath as you're doing this. If you have images or words that are quite intense, you could always tap on them, bring the image up, tap between your eyebrows, transfer your attention away from the image or words and into the sound and sensation of the fingers. And then think about just how well you know this person. You know their strengths. You know the things that they struggle with. And notice your whole body now. What's going on in your body as you're just coming out of looking at these two kind of opposites. What's really wonderful about them and what's not so ideal. Let yourself take a step back. Notice what's happening in your body. And notice if you feel kindness and compassion for them. Even with what they're struggling with, even if they're short with you sometimes or there's something less than ideal about them. Notice if you feel kindness and compassion as you're thinking about them, as you're looking at them in your mind's eye. Do you love them still, even with this? And now as you visualize yourself sitting with this person, switch perspectives, switch your seat so that now you're looking out of their eyes at your face. You're smiling at them and they're seeing the look on your eyes, the look on your face, your smile. Notice what you're feeling, what they might be feeling as they're looking at you. If you can bring up an image of your own face, what they would see as you're looking and smiling at them, feeling connected with them. They might be remembering good times that you've shared, enjoying the warmth of your hug.
What is it like for them when they see you and they connect with you? They feel how much you love them. And if they were to describe your wonderful qualities, what would those be? What would their top five be? This person that you love, what would they say about you? What do they enjoy and appreciate about you? Keep noticing your body and your breath as you're working with this. Notice how it feels to have those come to mind applied to you. Notice if you're kind of arguing in your mind with it, if you're bringing up a rebuttal, well, yeah, but if they knew what I really think sometimes, or just notice if there's any kind of arguing going on in your mind. And look at that. Keep awareness of your breath. And now shift back to looking out of your own eyes, looking at them. And bring back one of the qualities or two of the qualities that you came up with that you really admire about them, their best qualities. And notice if you need them to be perfect in applying those. If you chose generosity, do they need to be perfectly generous? Kindness, do they need to be always kind in their mind as well as their speech? Take a moment to really look at that. Do they need to be perfect in this quality that you admire about them? And then look to see, do you apply the same rules to you as to them? Do you need to be perfect in order to qualify? Is that being a good quality of yours? Just looking to see. Notice the energy in your body as well as any thoughts that might be there. Notice if there's a double standard going on. And then let that question come to rest and bring their face back up as you're looking at them. They're smiling at you, you're feeling connected with them. Do you still love them? Do you feel love for them, kindness, compassion?
Do they still love you? Even though you're not perfect. And then bring it back home. Do you have kindness and compassion for yourself? Do you love yourself? If you want, you could put your hand on your heart, rest your attention there. Notice your breath. And then think back over the inquiry and just notice if there's anything that you'd like to look into more deeply. Did any rebuttals come up that you might want to go into? Any hesitation about loving and being kind to yourself the way you would to someone you love? It's all just what it is. It's good to see. And then when you're ready, open your eyes.